Hey! Alright everybody, episode 7 on the e-bike build. And today we're going to look at the uh, inst installation of the seat, the motor seat from Vector, the side stand. Uh, we'll try and install the front forks, see what they're like on the frame. And there's a few things coming in the post. So we've got a good few things to look at in this video. Hoi! Okay, so first of all, it's going to be a bit of a rant alert. So, you got the Sabaton. Bought it from AliExpress and I'll, I'll, I'll insert a picture right now of what it's supposed to look like. Then I'll unbox it and you'll see what it looks like. Now, the reason why I bought it is because of where the mounting points are. The picture said it was version 2, the description said it was version 2. So, anyway, I'll unbox this and you can see why I feel like having a bit of a rant. Because they sent me the wrong thing. So here we go, let's unbox it. Look, right? And what? SVM C72150. So it's a 150 amp Sabaton controller. So, remember the picture I showed you? <laughs> so everything's looking right so far, except if you look down here, well, let's take it out. Let's take it out. Comes with the connectors for the, the other side and the pins, USB cable. Let's take that out of there. I think that's Bluetooth dongly thing. Right, take it out. And you can see that the brackets are on this side where they should be on this side. Ah, oh, why in it? Why send something that's clearly not what was in the picture on the description? They just look at it and they go, right, we haven't got one of them, we we'll still send it anyway. Come on. Right, so. They've sent version one, where it clearly states version two. So I emailed them, but they're not there. They're not there till after the weekend. So I gotta wait till Monday. Today is Sunday. But anyway, in the meantime, I was looking for a solution. Now, on Andy Kirby's uh, channel, I noticed that he's cut, he's grinded these off, and just chucked the sabaton on top of the battery so it's flopping about a bit um he's got stuff in it to keep it still but i want mine fixed so i thought can the can the can the, can the brackets that go this way be fitted to this one and then i looked and they do a kit so they do a kit where you do you cut this off you cut that off and then you put a bracket on there and a different back piece I'll insert a picture of the kit. I'll insert a picture of the kit that I got to order now. Well, I have ordered it anyway. Luckily, it was only about nine pounds. Because it, when I put the battery in the... Uh, when I put the battery in the... Uh, <laughs> when I put the battery in the bike, there's not much room left for this to go at any funny angles. So I'm going to try and fit it underneath. Underneath even uh, the frame so I need the brackets to be there and there anyway it wasn't much of a rant was it but I also I ordered this in December and it only turned up it turned up on the 12th of February god that's slow isn't it I ordered it like the 21st of December I think it was it was it was stuck somewhere for eight for, for about six weeks not moving anyway that's that oh i might as well look at the control whatever you're anyway you know um hole meter on that one uh what we got here high speed low speed and then the middle one is normal speed i suppose we got throttle cable reverse uh, brake 
This one here is oh, it's an half throttle, isn't it? Done that one. So that's the goes to the motor, USB cable, e ignition that turns it on. Then we've got another another one here throttle, but that's the e brake throttle. So if you if you get a thumb throttle, it'll it'll regenerative braking basically. That is. Uh, is that all of them? On oh, this one here, purple. I can't remember what's that saying there. That's the norm. That's brake twelve volt. The other one was brake zero. And that's brake twelve volt. There's obviously a difference between them two. Anyway, hundred and fifty amps of lovely juicy Sabaton controller. There go. So if you can see that there, mqcon.com. Anyway, that's the controller. That's my mini rant over. Right, okay. First of all, uh, we've got to get a file and file a hole slightly bigger because the, again, the um, powder coating just makes the hole a little bit too tight and the bolt won't go in. So I give it a small bit of filing until the bolt is free to go up and down. And then I apply some copper grease to where I filed because obviously if you leave bare metal it's going to start rusting so a little bit of copper grease should keep everything fine after that uh, what did I, I, I did change the bolts from it they come with 20 mil m8s but I bought some 25 mil m8s because they were a little bit short for my leg in so anyway and then all you do then is do the four bolts up it's a bit awkward because the front of the seat sponge needs to be pushed down and it's hard to push it down and do the bolts at the same time. But it's not that hard. It's just I'm making it out harder than what it is. <laughs> anyway, there we go. You do the bolts up and the seat is on. And it looks lovely. So there we are, starting to resemble a bike, but the back wheel is just only a temporary because I've had to try it. It'll be in the next video. It didn't just go straight on. I had to do some filing to for the dropouts because obviously the powder coat again, making them a bit smaller. But that'll be in the next video. But uh, I didn't have all the footage there of putting the forks on. That's the only footage I had. Some of it went missing. I don't know why. I don't know how. But it went missing, right? <laughs> Never to be seen again. Uh, so that's the best I could cobble together. But you get the drift. You get the idea. I mean, uh, uh, the one thing I would say is that the 
DNM USD eight forks. One side of the fork has got air in it, and the other side hasn't. I think because only one side's got a valve in it, and that one one side of the fork, when you take the axle out, it pushes down further than the other side of the fork leg. So they they one's like that, and one's down there. So when you're trying to push it through, the one with the air in is is always trying to fight against you. So when you push it through, you get the other side and the fork is the fork holes in a different position. So you've got you've got to mess about with it for a bit to try and get it in line. It's a bit difficult actually, especially when it was on the bike. Um so there, that that is the forks installed. Have I got anything else to show you? Oh yeah. I said I'd have a look at the um what did I say I'd have a look at? The uh, side stand, yeah. So let's go and have a look, quick look at the side stand. So here's the uh, stand that I was talking about. Uh, it comes with a spacer at the top. There's one at the bottom as well. Four bolts and it clamps onto the swing arm bar. Come down here then. It's got a tidy spring on it. Uh, so when it when it kicks up, it does stop just short of the bar, so it doesn't knock it. When you come to the bottom, it's got a foot on it there. And around the back, it's got an adjustable uh, bolt going through. There is a hole in it. But I'm gonna, when I set this bike up, the hole's obviously up here somewhere, so it's longer. But I'm going to set it up where I want it, and I'm going to drill a hole in this piece. So it'll lock in completely then. But... Uh, so that's, that's the one there. In the Chinese bikes, they used to have a, uh, a bolt hole down here underneath here somewhere. And used to clamp in under here. But it wasn't a very good solution, in my opinion. And this stand is much better than the than clamped here. Seems more sturdy than the, white, the one that was under there that used to turn because there was only one bolt hole in it. So anyway, that's that. So what I meant to say about the the foot on the side stand is it's got holes in it. Can you see them holes there? And uh, I want to drill one further down because if I if I lock it up there, the stand is too long and the bike's up upright too far. And also, if I drill a hole down here, then I can get middle C. If you know what I mean. Anyway, um, if you uh, like this video give it a like because you know everybody likes a like uh, if you want to subscribe then think about subscribing if you want to share the video share the video you know if you like it subscribe share and all them sort of things it helps the traction of the video and it helps me out and also more people get to see it so there we are i'll see you in the next video Ahoy!